is Dale Thomas. Um, this is Jerk Palace Caribbean Cuisine. And today, we're gonna be cooking stew chicken. Uh, we have some ingredients that's already prepared. And we're gonna talk to you how to make, talk you through how to make stew chicken. Okay, what I have here is some raw chicken that has been cleaned already. I have some chicken that has been seasoned already. I'm gonna talk you uh, uh, through a little bit of the seasoning process. Uh, this chicken has been seasoned and has been marinated for about 24 hours. Okay, you start off with the raw chicken and uh, this has been cleaned and we, we're gonna add some ingredients to season it. We're gonna add some scallions. Um, everything has been pre-measured. Um, I don't really know how to describe to you how much you should use, but this is approximately, I would say about 10 servings. This will serve about 10 people. Okay, and I have a couple of tomatoes. I have uh, some peeled garlic. I have a couple of uh, yellow onions. I have some fresh thyme, and then I have some powdered seasoning, uh, all-purpose seasoning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the uh, scallions, the onions, the garlic, put a little thyme, and I'm going to add some browning and a little bit a powder seasoning. And I'm gonna mix this together. I'm gonna rub, uh, rub all of the seasoning all over the chicken and let this chicken marinate for 24 hours. Once this chicken is, has been marinated for 24 hours, it's ready to, to go onto the stove. Now we're at the stove and we're gonna start off with some, a little bit of oil, not too much oil because you don't want too much oil in your food. Just a little bit of oil. And basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna start by browning, what we call browning the chicken. Even though we added a little bit of browning to give it some brown color, we're gonna do what we call browning on the stove. We're gonna add the chicken to the oil. We're going to start by browning the chicken. And this is something that it takes a little while to do this because we take our time really slow. We have the stove on about three quarter of the way up. Um, medium, medium heat, between medium and full high. And we just constantly stir the chicken and wait for a few minutes, let the, let the heat get the chicken, and then we just keep stirring it, stirring it. Uh, when when uh, we feel that it's been browned enough, then we decide that we're going to add the tomato, tomatoes. This process takes a little while to do, so just be patient. Um, the whole process of a cooking uh, brown stew chicken is approximately 30 minutes. You don't want to leave the chicken too long without stirring it because it will burn. So you have to, you know, every every three minutes you would want to go ahead and give another stir. And I would say maybe after 10 minutes, you add the tomatoes.
Now, there are some other ingredients that I add to the stewed chicken to give it uh, the gravy, a little extra richness, and taste. Um, for, for the reason that this is a restaurant, we cannot uh, divulge all of our secrets, so I do apologize, but uh, I'm sure that you can figure it out if you have a little skill in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, usually, uh, during the cooking process, uh, onions, if you, you know, we're talking about 30 minutes, so the flavor of the onions, the, the scallion, the garlic, um, that length of cooking, you may lose a little bit of the flavor, so somewhere along the way, I'm going to add a little bit more of the garlic, a little bit more onion, maybe about 10 minutes before the complete uh, cooking is over, I'll add a little bit more uh, scallion, a little bit more garlic, and a little bit more onion to, to bring that flavor back into, into the gravy. How does it smell? It smells great. Okay. Yeah, I, I've, I've been um, here at Jerk Palace. We've been here for five years. And this is one of the greatest Caribbean restaurant in Atlanta. We have been here for five years, uh, not by chance, but because we have great customer support. The customers tell us every day we're doing a great job and to continue doing a good job. I believe that the reason why our food is so tasty is because, as you can see, we start off with all natural, fresh ingredients. And we cook fresh food daily. Okay. okay. At this point, I'm gonna add the tomatoes, and I'm gonna keep stirring my brown stew. Notice I haven't added any water to this brown stew chicken. That is very important because I'm allowing this chicken to be cooked in its own natural juices. Okay, I will add a little bit of water um, as I see when I need it, when I need, and I'm gonna say maybe in the next five minutes, I will add a little bit of water just to keep it going, but not too much because I don't want my chicken to, to, to be too soft and overcooked. I want it to be just right and tasty, cooked in its own natural juices. Okay. Now I'm going to put a cover over this pot to allow the chicken to start steaming as it's, as it's cooking. And I'm going to turn the fire down to about, I would say maybe between half and a quarter uh, between half and a quarter of um, the fire flame so that, that it's just cooking really slow and the chicken could marinate and cook in its own juices. Uh, this chicken, um, as I said, I, I constantly monitor this chicken and make sure that it's not burning. I've added just a little bit of water. I don't know if uh, you can see, but it's not much, very much water. and. Now, it's been cooking for about 20 minutes, so at this point, I'm going to add um, some more garlic, thyme, green onion, fresh ingredients, so that I can have that extra flavor in my gravy. Now, I have a secret ingredient that I use in my stew chicken. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I just add a little bit of it to the stew chicken to enhance the gravy, the flavor of the gravy. A lot of people, uh, when they, they order stew chicken, uh, whether it's white rice or with rice and peas, they'll say, let me have gravy on my rice. And they want 
nice, tasty, rich gravy on that rice. There are people who sometimes will just come in and say, let me get a side of rice, but can you put some stewed chicken gravy on the rice? So I want to make sure that they taste that flavor in this gravy. So I added the secret ingredients. We have about 10 minutes left. I, the stove, um, I turned it back up just a little bit to uh, cook that, that last few ingredients for the next 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, we'll be eating some very tasty stewed chicken. Uh, also, what I forgot to mention is that I have tasted this, uh, just a little bit of the gravy and if you, ha you ha may have to make some adjustments for your salt, you may have to add a little bit more uh, seasoning, powder seasoning to, to uh, give it a little bit more salt. Hopefully you don't have too much salt because people don't, uh, do not like salty food. So you have to make sure it's just right. Um, that's the reason why I had measurements in the beginning. So be careful how much salt you put into your food. Uh, it's very important that you keep the salt level down. So I've tasted the food and I know that it's, it's perfect. I don't need to add any more salt, but you have to taste it along the way to make sure that it have just the right amount of salt in it. Basically, this is stew chicken. Uh, let me get something to Okay. This is two chicken. As you can see, just, you know, all of the ingredients, this chicken is just about ready to be eaten. And in, in our, the secret ingredients that I add will allow the gravy to get really thick and nice and everything. Now, here, this is two chicken completed. We're going to be eating some stew chicken. Well, it's dinner time. And this is our stew chicken. Yum. Ready to eat. What do you think, sir? Excellent. Excellent. One of the best I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, sir. Now, this is Jerk Palace. Whenever you want great stew chicken, you know where to come. Jerk Palace in Riverdale. Thank you. Okay, now let's see what Mr. Dale is talking about here. Mmm. Um. Wow. And you didn't enter any competition for this? Any Caribbean food festival? If he's in it, Mr. Dale, it's over. This the winner right here. And you know what? I don't want y'all seeing me killing this whole plate so I'm going to cut the camera off but it's over. Now I'll see you next time. I, I want to say more but it's time to eat. Mmm. <laughs>